So with that being said, I don't know anything about a point shaving scandal for extra VC in college. I was only there one year. Y'all give me a break, man. And that's all I got for that. Next question. Jay Easy, Jay Easy. Yes, ma'am, you in the back. What improvements are you looking for or hoping for in NBA 2K18? Are you serious? It's only one thing I want. Fix them goddamn servers. I didn't Come on. We'll never lose. Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Tell, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. I fixed my mic issues that I had, you know, the last couple of days. It was kind of kind of crazy or whatever. But anyway. I want to talk to you guys about one thing and one thing only today, this morning. Somebody asked me to do the center bills. We will be doing the center bills. Just, uh, that'll be later on today. So y'all just, y'all wait on that. But the one thing that I want to talk about today is, man, it's something that nobody else is talking about. Let's just be honest. The, sir, the NBA 2K18, the entire entire existence is depending on this one thing and that's the service if the service don't perform properly if they perform poorly if they perform as poorly or even 75 percent as poorly as they did last year we all in the world of trouble I, I i don't see why people are just like glossing over that like the entire thing that they showed us was like it looked like one big my park after dark to me but it was expanded now this is what i'm saying if we couldn't make everything work in my park after dark and it was a microcosm of what we're getting today how is this going to work i don't know i don't understand i, I know mike wong and all the guys said we have whole new servers we revamped the servers maybe they upgraded to uh server 2012 or something i don't know maybe they're linux based who knows i don't know but they said they upgraded the servers and they better have because i am telling you park events we were we, it was it was so hard to get into park events this year uh mountain dew was terrible most of the time like I got video upon video about these servers man and, and how and how the game had been impacted by the service how the game was just flat out unplayable sometimes because of the service you couldn't even get in the pro-am the first week because of the service um you know you had to reboot like to get to get in the pro-am hell you can't get in the pro-am with a whole team damn near all year because of the service like you really had to do so many tricks to get in you had to drop the ball you know, run over to the door, wait till the bag appeared. Everybody had to, uh, you know, stand by the door, stand on the rug and do stuff like that. Other people had other methods. Everybody grab a ball and then go to the middle of the court. Some people had a method where everybody dropped the ball and stand right in the middle. Like, there was just so many unnecessary things that we had to do just to be able to play this game this year and finagle our way in. And, half the, and, and the other half of the time, you might come in and, and try to just join your teammates part and you hit the you hit select or or the uh, share button on on x on, on the other one and this would happen but then it filled in it would be either nobody there or the actual person that you were actually looking for was not there so you 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 you, you had to it, it was just so many things with the service so i'm sincerely hoping that they have this fixed this year again we're gonna go back to like i said mountain dew was a disaster most of the time i think the last few of them they were okay but but for the majority of them people were getting lagged out you were losing games people were getting lagged out and and, and not losing these i mean not losing their due points at all so you know you go to uh you go to house rules house rules you may be going up for a dunk somebody hit the first dunk you get lagged out just get completely kicked out of the game they're just the servers were just incredibly too random this year and for you to be dependent upon these servers in order to rank up. It's gonna be like three, two thirds of the ranking system is going to be online, right? So if I'm if I'm correct, I mean, there's three ways to rank up. You got my career, you got Pro-Am, and you have uh, the park or the playground or whatever it is. So two thirds of it is online. If these servers are not working properly, we are gonna be in a world of trouble. I don't even wanna see how it's gonna happen. Like if they're gonna be lag outs, you're gonna take L's cause that still happens. People trying to hit people offline because your IPs are actually exposed in the park at some time. It's like, it's, it's, it's just so many things that need to be handled before we even get the gameplay. Will we even get to play the game? That's what I'm really worried about. I mean, I know you guys are watching the video and saw the same thing. You wanna know what I really think? I really think that that the game, that the playground was supposed to be out 
this year, and they couldn't get it finished in time, so they had to roll it back. You know, like a like like a save point. You know how you how you doing your work, and then you get to a certain spot, and you're like, well, let me just save it right here, and then just in case something happens, we can go back to this point. I think that they were gonna do the whole playground thing this year, and uh, they couldn't get it done. So before they removed all the parts, they just had to, they kind of rolled it back. So that's why we have some elements of that. You know the playground in this game and some and some elements that are, that are not and they're like like the no affiliation thing. Like I, I really feel like like well you chose an affiliation but you can still play with anybody from any part. So I, I I really think that that that's what happened. But at the same time, with them going ahead and fixing all of this, I I I don't know. I'm very wary. I'm very wary. I just don't know if this is going to be the experience that we that we want. And the thing is, with 2K, normally the, the park experience is good. Day one, you can normally get into parks and play reasonably well or whatever. I mean, it takes a while because everybody wants to play with their friends. Everybody has the game. But you can still get in and play. But this time, with it being so big, how many of y'all were able to get into my park after dark? Raise your hand. Like again, I got videos on that. I was able to get in, but people were people were invisible. People were people were were playing, and they weren't on the court. People were were just locked in courts for like 30 minutes or what have you. And that's another thing: the purge system. I don't know why people can quit out of the game and break the court. Like the purge system needs to be. I think it purges like every five minutes, man. That thing needs to purge people every every 45 seconds or something. But maybe that'll bog down the servers. I don't know. But that's just that's that's a rant for another day. Again, if these servers are not up to par, it's going to be a miserable experience day one. You're not going to be able to get in. And then, from what I can tell, and this is just not not even so so you, we can say three fourths of it is online because even working out. Uh, I think working out in your, in your gym is fine, but working out at the uh, Gatorade facility, that's part of ranking up too. And if that's not accessible because it's online as well, pretty much if you play offline, then you know maybe you can rank your guy all the way up offline or, or a good portion up offline, but at the same time, or you just get your badges and stuff like that, and you might be able to get the 92, 93 offline. But if you, are, if you, if you just want to go to the Gatorade facility and just work out, you're probably not going to be able to do that because that appeared to be online, all right? You can't go to practice because that appeared to be online. You, you won't be able to play part. And then, again, Pro-Am because that's online. And I wonder what those two courts beside each other were. Was that going to be something like where you can queue up and play against the actual Pro-Am team that you want to play against? Because that's another thing. If you can't queue up against Pro-Am teams, like, that's something that has to be in the game if you want the game to be esports ready. But that's a whole other video. We'll do that tomorrow. But anyway, like I said, man, I'm not already talked too long. I believe the, the servers have to be on point. If the servers are anything like my park after dark or they're not stronger than that, it's going to be a disaster day one. You probably couldn't even get 40, 50 people in my park after dark. And like I said, this appears to be an expanded version of my park after dark. So if my park after dark was smaller than this, and this is much a much bigger production we're going into an actual world if the servers aren't correct you probably won't be able to do anything at all you're not going to be uh, I'm, I'm just going to reiterate you won't be able to play part because you're not going to be able to get in because it's online obviously and it's all in one area now so because it's all in one area if you can't access one area of the online you can't access anything at least last you yeah last year it was segregated right well i don't know how segregated it's going to be maybe it's going to be like the world, and then when you go into each place, you're gonna get another loading screen, and it's gonna be pockets. But it, I didn't see any loading screens like when the dude walked into the uh, facility to do training and stuff like that, or like when the no one was walking around, he just walked to the park and all that. I didn't see any loading screens. It, it appeared to be one seamless world. So with that being the case, if you are having ac uh, issues with accessing the world, or even even like the little arcade gallery, like that appeared to be part a part of my park after dark. And the reason I'm saying that that it seems like my park after dark was was the test subject for this because they got the three-point contest out there, if I'm not mistaken. I know they got the dunk contest, and the only thing that they have now that they didn't have there was the king of the hill is the one one-on-ones or what have you. So with that being the case, I'm saying my park, if, if online is not working day one, and if it's not working damn near flawlessly day one, we're going to be in a world of trouble. And if my park after dark was the litmus test or was the, was the, uh, the test, the test subject, the guinea pig. If that's what it was, then we don't have much to go on, and I just don't have much faith in the game right now. And like I said, they said they have revamped the servers. They said they've rebuilt the servers, 
But uh, we we will definitely see, man. I don't know. I, I really don't know, man. You guys let me know what you think. Is this going to work? Because it's just too damn much going on in one world. And if they did it right, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be great. It's going to be outstanding. But we know the 2K servers. We've had years, what, six, seven years of, of experience with these 2K servers. I mean, back from play now, we got 17 years, and they haven't been they haven't been the greatest since Dreamcast. So we know this. You know, I mean, even though Dreamcast was like dial up. Y'all don't even remember the second Dreamcast, but you know, I don't already talk too long anyway. I'm showing my age now. I was in college when the Dreamcast came out, so go figure that shit out. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Y'all let me know, are these servers going to be strong enough to hold up and, and, and give us what we need? Because if they're not, this is going to be a miserable experience and 2K is going to be doomed from day one. So I, I, I couldn't imagine that they haven't gotten it together, but somebody had to talk about it. Might as well be me. I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! So check it out, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more daily 2K content. You can subscribe right here. And uh, right here, you can watch a video. And right here, right here, you can watch another video. And I'm out of here. Peace.